July of 2008, you signed with the Denver Nuggets and a squad at the time that had Melo and Allen Iverson. And so I'm sure you were probably super pumped to go play with them. But shortly after arriving, uh, Chauncey Billups gets traded in exchange for Allen Iverson. But with that short time that you did have with Allen Iverson, did you get to develop any type of relationship or maybe have a good story with them either on the court or off the court with AI? So... I um I went to summer league with the um with the Nuggets because the Nuggets wanted to audition me and another dude and we're like listen we, we were going back and forth contractually and then we're like y'all two fight it out in summer league and you know I'm with whatever so I was like all right cool it's my fifth year but so what I go to summer league I'll play him I go from summer league and me and Jr went back to Denver so I was like I'm gonna go there early and get ready I'm like the f I'm I'm slated to be like the 14th 15th man but I'm just need any opportunity just to get in the window mm -hmm. and I, I want to compete. And JR took me to um, Dave and Buster's. Like, we're gonna go see my man real fast. Dave and Buster's, six o'clock. We get into Dave and Buster's, and AI playing shuffleboard with his homies at six. And he's like, yo, what up, Tay? Now, mind you, I'm playing against AI in the, in the league and stuff, but AI is like the rock star of all. He's like mm -hmm. the John Morant. Like, right. he, it ain't nobody bigger than him. Cold, but like, he's outside too. Mm -hmm. So, like, the P, he's a people's champ, super nice, got all the accolades. And he in the middle of David Buster's playing shuffleboard, like no security, mm -hmm. like people know him, that's what he do. He playing shuffleboard with the homies, he take that, go play pool with the homies. He, we, he take that and we go out. He, AI, you know, AI, party all night long, <laughs> order 25 bottles of Don P. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get drunk, they carry him out. We talking like in the summer lease, so it's like uh, July-ish. Yeah. He so was early into the summer. So right. So so he get he, he get hammered and yo, I'm gonna meet you, meet you at the practice. What time y'all going? Eleven. I AI. All right, Chuck. Um, don't show up. Every day we do that all summer long. <laughs> <laughs> Young fellas, I'm gonna be there. What time y'all going? Eleven o'clock. Don't show up. Chuck net we party every night. Yeah. But we show up and because we we weren't drinking. Yeah. So training camp. He did that to us every night. Training camp show up. Chuck come in there. Come in here like right on time. Do like a little hamstring stretch, like one of these. Get the get the uh, one of the interns like five shots at five spots, and he's AI. First day of training, right, yeah. AI. Hang worked out all awesome. summer. That's crazy. He's the AI we know and love. He in there flying through, finishing mid range three. You can't guard him. He ain't touched the ball all summer. Yeah, we go through training camp. AI, like he just had it. Yeah, that's and crazy. Even like we did preseason games. Every, every city we go to, but to Syracuse, rock star. Like, biggest party you ever seen after the game. He lived like a rock star. He played like a rock star. He played every night. He played the summer league games. I mean, um, the preseason games, too. Mm -hmm. And he just, like, he, he, he got after it. So I got the first couple of games with AI. And he was one of, like, my childhood, like, that got me into basketball. At mm -hmm. Georgetown, like, it wasn't nobody really, really bigger. And so I got, I'm, I'm just... I'm living the moment, like, bro, you sit next to AI. Melo was my man already. We was in the same draft. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. We trade him, and then Big Shot, my big homie, we traded for, my, for the big homie. So, what's up? Because we mm -hmm. trained together in, uh, in Vegas. So, okay. Big Shot, me, so I y'all had, had a yeah, relationship we, like, I've been already. I've training with Big Shot for like six, seven years since I was in, at Duke. Big Shot come in, and they said they wanted to start somebody else. Big Shot was like, nah, I want Dante. I want, he's going to guard, like. I want, to comp I want Dante in the starting lineup. And that's how I get there. I mm -hmm. go from being a 14, 15 man, the big shot said like, yo, I need him to start. So I went from that to, we in the conference finals, like this. Mm -hmm. I went from summer league to the conference finals. Like when I blink, that's we in the crazy. conference final playing against Kobe. Mm -hmm. So like that's, so now as a coach, like, and when I'm talking to like the young dudes on our team that may not get the opportunity they want to, like the way this league works, it changes. It changed from you like that. Right. Like it changes, it Literally. can change on you fast. You just gotta be prepared. So like you, you never know what transaction might happen, who might go down. You just gotta be prepared and your life can change like this. And mm -hmm. after that, now, you, now you, when you're in a conference final, you're on the world stage as you know, everybody know your name, changes your whole trajectory of, of basketball at that point. Mm -hmm. Look, the NBA season is in full swing and Prize Picks has you covered when it comes to helping you make some money. Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app where you can select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and turn $25 into $250. Prize Picks is really simple to play, y'all. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. So be sure to visit prizepicks.com slash podcast P and use our promo code podcast P for a first deposit match up to $100. 
And Jackie, what do we always say? I think it's a uh... cha-ching! Cha